always enjoyed the outdoors. Yeah, it was definitely the, the outdoorsy one of my friends. Like growing up, we used to, you know, we lived on the edge of the moors, like um, Dartmoor. So yeah, it's always been, it's always been there. I never knew it would take me where it, where it took me in the end. I uh, always knew it would take me somewhere, but yeah, not this. <laughs> So when I found out about the AT, I was just like, well, I wonder if, wonder if this could be a good thing to do. And, um, I sat on it for like a few months. I was like, I don't know if this is a good idea. And I did some research. And I was like, oh, this is actually like, you know, a big thing. I was like, maybe we could do this. That was like a big moment of just like, this is what life should be. It's so simple and it's so easy and it's so pure. Because I had no idea what I was doing when I started. No idea. So when we first started, we didn't have a cutting table. We just had, um, a faff machine, which is still up there, actually. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, it's old, uh, old like nineteen seventies faff machine. There was a bunch of stuff. There was loads of loads of pieces stored in that chest of drawers, and and yeah, and all the rolls of fabric were under the bed. <laughs> and like <laughs> every day, we just destroy this room, and then at the end of every day, I have to like piece it all back together again. And my landlord, just absolute hero for. He like I don't think he once complained about it. Like literally, I moved into this place and like. I had like 40 orders to fulfill, like when we moved in and I just didn't stop work until about May. So from February to May, the whole ground floor of the house was just covered in bits of fabric. It was turning up in like his bed and like, just like in belly buttons and just like, it was just everywhere. <laughs> like little off cuts of, uh, little off cuts of thread. They just, they just go everywhere. all over the place. But yeah, this is it. This is where, where all we are from this little corner. So, uh, knowing you're doing something for somebody. I'm doing something for the customer, so they want to go somewhere and I'm enabling them to go somewhere. By doing this pack, whomever we've inspired to go hiking is, can now go on that journey and it's a pack. So I think that's what it is, it's a customer service aspect. I don't know, it, it's, hard to, it's hard to say where the future is. Tom is, is the drive behind this and, and the future behind this, but I can't see myself doing anything else. Um, whether it's in this building or whether we have a massive building dedicated to Adam Packs, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll be here. We'll be here forever. We'll, we'll be retiring and we'll still come to work in our Zimmer frames and, and make Adam Packs. With anything that we make here. I've tried to like take the best materials that I can find. And so that's where the Prospector and the Moat come in because they're built with longevity in mind. They will survive a through hike or two or three. No one's done that yet. keep making good gear and yeah do it for as long as I can what makes that impact different um, we do things our way I wouldn't make anything that I wouldn't take through like just wouldn't do it we want to build the best gear we can and that's at the core of everything that we do 